Who's playing Lol and Hardy, please? And the poster says they're, they're here in person. Two seats. So the whole process of making Steve and John into Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy was a long one, you know, particularly getting Hardy right because there was a lot more prosthetic involved for John. There was the, the fat suit that had to be made, there was the, the facial stuff, there was contact lenses, there was wig. Mark Cooley who did the prosthetics, he's a double Oscar winner. And as soon as I found out John C. Riley was playing Hardy and Steve Coogan was playing Laurel. I couldn't actually think of anybody better, any pair that would be better than those two. For the time we were shooting this film, this area right here was exposed and this area on my flats of my hands, that's it. The rest of my body was encased in prosthetics or a fat suit. It was like wearing a mask on your whole body. And that mask was so convincing that it made me believe sort of from the outside in that I could play the character. This is uh, one of the fat suits. It's made in two sections, so we've got trousers and a top, which uh, pull on separately and zip together. And under here, we've got uh, little weighted bags, lead shot, basically, because John wanted to feel some weight built into the suit, so it, it actually felt heavy to him. It really affected the way he walked. It did make him move in a different way. The prosthetics are destroyed when you take them off, so it's a new set of prosthetics for each day of filming. We will have 40 heads. John's makeup is broken up into two sections. It's the neck piece, which is over here, and then the face piece here. This would actually be sat on here. This is the plastic membrane, which is very fine, and that's what dissolves into the skin. Steve's process was probably slightly easier. He needed little things. He's got a chin piece, ear tips, just to make the ear stick out at the top. It really helped because I look in the mirror and uh, see someone different and it helps you, it gives you a clue. You think, oh, I think I know who that is behind that look because I'd look at myself and I thought what I saw was very different from me. When they first walked out on the camera test, it was kind of like a teary moment. All the crew were there and everybody just started applauding because it was just incredible and when you see the movie you'll see that they have encapsulated these two characters physically and through you know performance as well i don't think we could have done any more to get them to where they had to be as the real guys you know